All right, we are back down here at the creek and I was messing around with the topwater popper right underneath that bridge and I caught a nice one. Oh, got one. Oh, I got a good one on top water. There he is. There he is. He's fighting. Woo! Man, this top water bait has been a killer. Just a few casts in and I got one to bite. Yes. Look how thick that sucker is. I'm absolutely thrilled. I think this is gonna be a great day. All right, we're gonna let him get wet. This thing was mean. It absolutely tried to murder my popper and he put up a heck of a fight, man. There is nothing like catching these smallmouth. We saw him from the bridge. Again, the last time I was here, I caught a big one under that bridge. I caught it on the other side this time. The same technique, saw him from the bridge, came down here, made some cast and hooked up with a beautiful smallmouth. Let's get him out here where he can swim away. We're gonna get a nice release on him. Oh, thanks for playing, mama. You're a beautiful fish. Oh, I love it, I love it. All right, go on home. Look at that thing. Fish number one was a doozy. I got a topwater popper tied on. I got Ned rigs, I got little jigs. I got all kinds of tackle. I also brought some little nets and thought maybe, maybe we could do some uh, live bait fishing if I can catch some live bait. All right, so I brought some little nets because the last time I was here, there was just little minnows everywhere. But let's see if I can catch some. Probably easier said than done, I'm sure. We got a lot of minnows, but you know they're not gonna be cooperative. Oh, those are perfect size, perfect size. Come here, little minnows, come here. I just want to feed you to a big old bass. Oh, oh, giant crawdad. Oh, oh, there's a giant crawdad. If I can catch that thing. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I want that crawdad. No, dude, he's running away from me. Oh, that crawfish would be perfect. Got him. Look at this. I got a perfect size little crawdad here. Uh, let's throw him out there and see if we can catch something on him. Okay, so I got a nice little crawdad. He's pinching me. I'm going to hook this guy right through the tail, just like that. All right, and I got a little uh, octopus circle hook on a little split shot rig. I got that rigged up on my little six foot six light action uh, St. Croix Triumph rod. And I, we got some smallmouth out here. They don't look huge, but let's see what happens. I bet one of them would love to have that crawfish. Let's just put it right out there in the middle. Give it a second and see what happens. Oh, one's got him, got one. All right, hooked up on the crawfish. That did not take very long at all. Not a huge smallmouth, but I'll take him. All right, there we go. Fish number two. Little creek smallie guy. Look at that. He wanted that crawfish. I saw some out there. And uh, man, just like that. That literally took like 30 seconds. I knew live bait would work great. Look at this little guy. Uh, not nearly the size of the first one I caught, but hey, and I caught him on a little crawfish I caught myself. That feels nice. Let's put him back out there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of smallmouth about this size right out in front of me. They're just, oh, dropped him. All right, that was quick. I should have brought a bucket. That would have been smart. Questionable, questionable decision making on my part, but whatever. Caught a nice little crawfish with my hands. No net needed. I'm skillful like that. Let's try this. Oh, there's one on it. Got him, got him. All right, got one on my car, little guy. Okay, so right out here in front of me, there's a whole bunch this size. Uh, these are catchable size smallmouth, obviously, but they are not what I'm really after. I could probably sit here and catch one after another if I wanted to. Oh, there he goes. Um, there's just a ton of those right out here in front of me. They all seem to be right about that same size. I don't see any that really look any bigger than that. I don't know. We might try to catch a couple more and then I'm going to move down, see if I can find a deeper hole, some bigger fish. All right, we got a tree right here. I got a nice little deeper pocket up against that shoreline over there. I'm going to see if I can catch some more crawfish and maybe do a little live bait fishing right here. Oh, I got another. Oh, I got a nice crawfish. All right, there. Now we're in business. Good bait sized crawfish in here. There he is. Got him. All right, dude. 
you know we got some small mouth over here i don't know if they're very big or not but we're gonna try to find out all right let's toss this dude over there there's some bigger fish right out there i don't think those are small i think those are those sucker fish uh but not to say there's not a bigger smallmouth out there someone's got him got him got one all right hooked up all right got a little smallmouth this is probably what stole my bait come here there we go all right not a bad one there we go on my crawl this live bait fishing i mean it is high percentage fishing if you can catch the live bait get them out there you can catch a lot of fish it'd probably be easier to just buy the live bait at the store or if you do come to catch some bring a bucket that's a great idea that way you can catch more than one at a time and just put them in a bucket instead of doing what i'm doing nice little creek smallie let's let him go well there we go all right we're moving down came across to this little honey hole right here and i thought it'd be a good place to catch some bait and i was right um i really hit the jackpot as far as bait goes yeah i ended up with i don't know a bunch of crawfish handful of minnows all good sized ones so we are in business now in terms of catching fish so now we just need to find a deep hole to throw them in and uh we're gonna have it made because now we can really catch some nice ones if we can uh, just find the right spot to pitch these bad boys. Is this a deeper pocket? I don't know, we're gonna check it out. Yeah, maybe, okay. I think we might be able to fish over on this side. Let's get on this opposite side and cast over here. We're gonna hit this little pocket right here in front of me. We got some trees in the water. It looks a little deeper over there. All right, got another perfect size one here. See, we can't catch something with this one. I know there's fish over there. I don't know if there's any big ones necessarily, but there should be some catchable smallmouth over there, you would think. I got one, got one, got one. I'm on, I'm on. Oh, tiny, what do I got? Oh, all right, got a uh, nice little bluegill, whatever, pumpkin head, whatever you want to call these things. Pretty fish, he, uh, he wanted my crawfish and he got it. So, hey, we don't mind catching this guy at all. It's not a giant smallmouth, but hey, I love it anyways. Get back out there, buddy. All right, well, we're gonna kind of hit this rocky bank a couple times and then move on down if it's not too promising. This one is a little bit bigger of a crawfish. All right, see what wants him. Oh, got a bite. Got him. Got him. All right, I'm on. I'm on. Little small now. No, it's not. It's a rock bass. All right. Just a multi-species day today. That's a nice little rock bass. Chubby guy. Uh, rock bass are fun to catch. They're not really hard fighters. Not like a small mouth, but... Um, they do get bigger than this, of course. They don't get very long, but they get chunky. He wanted my uh, my crawfish, and he got it. I think we're going to move on down. And there's a lot of fish right here. It's just not. There's no big small mouse, I don't think. I think there's a lot of little small mouse and other paying fish. That's not really what I'm after right now. I might come back by here with a little uh, uh, rooster tail or something. Well, we got a little deeper hole, and it's clear. We've got a tree. Let's see if we can see any fish around it. Okay. There's a tree over there. I think I just found a big smallmouth. I'm gonna get a live bait on. See if that is what I think it is. Hopefully, if it is, he should he should be all about this crawfish. Oh, I got one. Oh, I, oh it came off. I don't, that wasn't him. Okay, there's more than one. I wanted the big one I saw underneath the log. I don't know where that one went. Shoot. Because he was right underneath that log. Come on, where is he? Got one. I'm on. I'm on. Little guy. Little guy. 
All right. Man, he, that's not the one I was after, but I'll take him. That was my last crawl though. But hey, we got a fish out of it, so. Nice little creek smally. It's not the one that I saw. The one that was underneath that log when I first walked up was uh, legit. I'm always happy to catch them, even when they're not huge. I still love catching them. They still put up a heck of a fight. So what? I'm out of crawfish. I don't really feel like catching any more. That was too much. I think it's time to just tie my Ned rig and see what I can get to bite. Oh God, they're a lot deeper than I thought. <laughs> Woo. All right, looks like we got some water running out into the creek down here. And uh, that can be a good spot to find some fish. It's deeper right here too. There should be a lot of fish right here. I wonder what that is. It's some kind of drain or something that's running into the creek over there. I don't know if I can get it down there where I need it to be. There we go. Oh, got one. Got him. Right in that current. Got one out of there. Stay on. Stay on. Good one. It's a good one. I knew there would be some over there. Got another good one on the popper. Okay, well, no. All right, I'm sorry. I thought he was a lot bigger. Uh, <laughs> well, I got excited. I was wondering when he was going to start fighting really hard. He never did. Then I saw him like, oh, okay. He blew up on that popper though. I thought he was a lot bigger than he was. That area over there, it's got an inlet coming in. And I went over it again and again with a popper. I caught one little one. But I just thought, man, there's got to be a big fish over there. And I think a moving bait is what I need to put on. I tied on a crankbait. I went right back over there. I'm gonna walk back down here. We got a rooster tail and a little square bill crankbait. We're gonna walk back to where this water's flowing out. Let's see, because I think there's gotta be some bigger fish right around here. Just a hunch, but I think so. This looks like a great spot for them. So let's try these. This square bill crankbait, I've caught a good smallmouth on it before. So, we'll give it a shot. Oh, got one, got one. Oh, good one. Good one on the crankbait. No! Oh, he spit my crankbait out. No! That was the biggest fish of the day. That's just fishing. That that happens. Um, that that small mouth hit that crankbait so hard he jumped i don't know it looked like he jumped 10 feet in the air and he spit it out oh i made the right call i tied on the crank i came back to this spot i knew there was big fish there it worked and he spit it out i made the right decision i made the right call i tied on the right bait i went right back to that spot where i just sensed there was a big one i hooked that fish and he got off on treble hooks come on oh i had him it worked perfect and he spit it out a treble hook bait that sucks what can you do just gotta keep fishing um i caught some good ones today but you don't get very many opportunities like that for small mouth that size all right gotta get back time to start heading out of here Got him. Got a good smallmouth. Got a good smallmouth on a rooster tail. Get over here, dude. Good one. I've never caught one this big on a rooster tail before. Oh, there's a whole bunch with him. Stay on. Oh man, he's burning my drag. Get over here. I've never caught one this big on a rooster tail. Oh my goodness, he's got a whole pack of smallmouth with him. Don't break my line. Don't break my line. Oh man, he's not giving up. He's not giving up. Oh my goodness, yes on a rooster tail yes yes oh my goodness are you kidding me look at that on a rooster tail i've caught a lot of little bitty smallmouth on a rooster tail i have never caught this this big of one on a rooster tail that little bitty bait man he put up a heck of a fight oh beautiful fish 
Yes, well, that kind of makes the sting of that losing that big one down there a little bit easier to take. Well, I'm glad he's hooked good. Those are little bitty hooks. They're really not made for a fish this size. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Second really nice one of the day. Should have been number three. Oh, they're right out there. Let's see if we can catch a few more of those. Let's let that guy go. There he goes. Man, nice smallmouth. There's a whole bunch of them right out there. Let's see if we can catch a few more of them. Man, there's a whole bunch of them right there. No, they're not even looking at that rooster tail now. They're like, no way, dude. I'm gonna tie on a little Ned Rig. Something that they might hit. All right, got a little Ned Rig tied on, little cross style Ned Rig. Uh, we're gonna toss that out there. If they don't want that, I'll switch different baits on this Ned Head because there's a bunch of nice ones out there. So I'd like to catch a couple more. They swim all the way up here when I hooked that, when I was catching that big one. Go, get it. Oh, he's right on it. He's, oh, he hit it, he bit it. Oh, he just bit it, but he didn't pick it up. We're gonna take this one off and we're gonna put a different Ned bait on. They don't want this this little cross style bait for some reason. Try one of these finesse TRDs. This isn't my favorite color, but I don't know if I have any of the copper truce ones I love. This is like a little purple, light purplish color. We'll try this one. Same style of Ned that I've caught a lot of smallmouth on. All right, let's toss this bad boy out there, see if I can fool them with this one. Looks like they are still there. Nope. Don't want that one either. Oh, golly. Got one. All right, got another one. I'm hooked up. Not as big as that other one I caught on the rooster tail, but this is one of the ones that was with him. Oh, he's digging. He is digging. There we go. Look at that one. Finally, switched some baits around, found a net head he wanted. He didn't want the little crawl style one, so uh, I threw on a, a different finesse TRD style and got another decent smallmouth to bite. Caught another nice creek smallie, not huge, but a very nice fish. They weren't interested in the rooster tail, so I switched around, put on a net head bait that he wanted and got another one to bite. This is turning into a great day. Uh, losing that big one hurt. Uh, this does make it a little bit better. So I'm gonna see if I can catch a few more before I get out of here. Whew. All right, buddy. Go back to your family. Tell them I got more Ned rigs. There he goes.